Alex Neil, well done. Is that as pleased with your team as you've been this season, that, that game? Yeah, I think it was probably the most complete performance from us. I thought really unfortunate at half-time not to be leading the game. You know, we had a penalty. We also had a few really good chances um, that the keeper either made a save or they had a clearance. Um, and I think to come somewhere where they've won every home game so far this season and be as dominating as we were, particularly second half, and really sort of put them to bed, um, I thought I thought my team were absolutely fantastic, particularly second half. And it was a win by one goal again for the third game in a row, but there was a different feeling about it today. It wasn't as if you were really hanging on at the end this time, was it? No, there was a confidence and a swagger about us today, I thought. Um, I thought we had some real, real top performances for individuals all over the team. And yeah, listen, when you come away and you, and you get that type of result at a really difficult venue, you must be pleased, you know, and I thought, I thought the, the, club, the team showed great character in the particular second half. Graeme Dorrance has just told us that the, the message this week has been about closing games out, that, that you're winning, and it seems to have got through, doesn't it? Yeah, but listen, they guys have got to go and do it, you know, and it's much easier said than done. But I think everybody watching the game would have enjoyed the way we played today. And if you're an Norwich fan, you should enjoy your night. You know, the fans were fantastic. Um, and the boys did great for them, so I think everybody should be pleased. You, you were behind at half-time, as you've mentioned. Did you change much? You didn't have to, did you? No, I just, I just spoke about bits we could get better at. You know, I thought um, just a wee bit more width on either side, sort of squeezing the back line a little bit more, um, and then just really just sort of talking to Wes about, listen, the penalty's done now, so what we do second half. And I thought the wee man was, was at his best second half as well, so... It was really pleasing. Had it got to him a bit then? Was his head down a bit at half time having missed the penalty? I think I think they'll always have that little bit of disappointment. I think the quicker you can shake it off, the better. Um, and certainly second half, there was no lasting effects of the penalty after that. You know, he just got himself focused at half time, like the rest of the team, and they came out and they responded for each other. So it was really pleasing. And the equaliser so soon after half time must have helped with that, and must have helped with with the feeling in general. Yeah, we spoke about the first 15 minutes being absolutely crucial. You know, if we get that goal. They're going to be looking about at our team thinking, this is going to be a real tough 30 minutes. And we managed to get the goal and we were right, it was a real tough 30 minutes for them. And you talked yesterday about how important Alex Tetty is to the team when he's fit. How pleased were you with the way you cope without him today? I thought Johnny Hattuson and Graham Dorns were absolutely outstanding. Um, and I posed questions to them. You know, I say, obviously, we're missing Al, we're missing his bite. Can you just replicate that and can you just do it? And I thought they did it in more. Because you, you need them to, to play slightly differently when he's not around, don't you? Yeah, we played sort of John slightly deeper than normal. You know, normally we'd have Alex sitting as a one. We played Graham and John sitting um, as a two. It gave Wes more space to work in just ahead of them um, because I, I felt we lacked that sort of proper stopper um, that Alex is. But the two lads were fantastic. You know, it was, it was great for them, so I was really pleased. And that is three wins in, in a week now. You, you can't ask for much more than that. It, it feels as if the, the momentum is, is well and truly with you now, doesn't it? Yeah, but I've, I've said a couple of weeks ago it's going to be peaks and troughs. You know, we're going to have disappointments, and it's how we respond to disappointments. You know, we were disappointed at half time, and then the response in the second half was what you would have wanted and more. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm really, really pleased with them today. And I, th I think this week, to go and chum out nine points out of nine after a real disappointment and have the international break, um, yeah, it's great. Um, you didn't have Yusuf Malumbu in the squad today. Is that an injury? Uh, yeah, he just got, he, he stood in his foot the last game that he came on. He hadn't done a lot of training, um, and I wanted to keep him for Tuesday evening, so um, I put Louis Thompson involved um, rather than Yusuf today, but he'll be back for the Tuesday game. And we've seen pictures tweeted from the dressing room. Tim Close has taken one of all the teams standing there in various states of undress <laughs> celebrating. Yeah. <laughs> obviously nah, good atmosphere in there. Yeah, but I didn't know that, but that's not my cup of tea, but yeah, yeah, each to their own. You're not in it, don't worry. I'm old-fashioned, I've been in it. Yeah, you're not in the picture, no. don't worry. <laughs> Thanks, Alex. <laughs> Cheers.